Welcome to day 17 of the Daniel Fast for 2024. Amen. We are so excited. This is the last week. This is our last video. We are super excited. It is almost finished. I can taste victory. Amen. I'm anticipating the end. I'm anticipating yeah. victory and I yeah. can anticipate the savory sweetness at the end. Yes. And so be encouraged. You are not alone. We are in the home stretch. This is the final we're in the finals and so be encouraged yes push through keep persevering we're almost there together yeah so this week is this week we're going to be focusing on anticipation anticipation yeah and today's scripture that we can meditate on is going to be found in the book of isaiah chapter 42 verse 9 yes isaiah chapter 42 verse 9 says the past events have indeed happened but now I declare new events. I announce them to you before they occur. Hallelujah. It's important to discern that this is the word, this is the word of the Lord that He's given us through Isaiah. And I you should read the whole chapter. But I'm encouraged that one thing, the past events have indeed happened. It's like saying, okay. The Yesterday past. has gone, the past has happened, 23 has came and gone, yeah. but now we are in 2024 yes. and the Lord declares new things, new events, new expectation of his visitation to us and revelation. He says, I announce them to you before they occur. Yes, and it's God's goodness letting us know something good is coming anticipate yes. it something good is coming and if we read in chapter 43 the next chapter um verse um 18 it says do not remember the past events pay no attention to the things of old look i am about to do something new even now it's coming do you not see it Indeed, I will make a way in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. And so when we read the, the previous chapter, God is telling us, look, I am doing a new thing. I want you to stop thinking about the past and I want you to focus on what God is going to do in your life in 2024. And what's beautiful about this chapter, the, previous, the next chapter in chapter 43, is that he tells us exactly what he's going to do. He says, I'm gonna make a way. I'm a way maker. I'm gonna make a way where you see no way. It looks impossible. It looks like I can't do it. It looks like you can't do it. It looks like no man can do it. And that's because no man can do it. God alone will take the glory for what he is going to do in your life. Amen, amen. And I'm so I'm living in that this week's theme of anticipation yes. because we just read two chapters. We gave you a double whammy to two chapters of where God is already declaring and prophesying from his own mouth. He's prophesying into our lives mm -hmm. and declaring what's gonna happen. New things. What are those things? I don't know, but I know they're gonna work out for our good. Yeah. I know they're gonna be in our favor. Mm -hmm. I know it's not just what we want, but it's what we need in mm -hmm. our lives. God's yeah. intervention, his presence and his direction. Yes. I'm in expectation and I'm waiting for it to happen because the Bible says it's going to happen. It's going to happen. I believe that too. And so be encouraged this week. This is your last week. Be encouraged that this fast was for nothing. Forget about 2023. Yes. There might have been some pain in 2023. There might have, might have been some loss that you guys went through. We've experienced loss in 2023 and 2022. But God is saying, I don't want you to think about those things. I want you to focus on what I am going to do. And it's a new thing. Amen, amen. Let's, let's, let's bow in prayer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your word, Lord, for your promise for us. Thank you, Lord, that we can live in anticipation of what you're doing for us. The, the doors you're opening as well as closing. The making a way in the desert and making a way in things, in places that we don't know how we can navigate the situation, but you will make a way for us. You will show us the way. Thank you, Lord, that we can depend on you and trust on you on this. Lord God Almighty, be receptive to our fast. Thank you for uh, giving us the opportunity to do so. And Lord, let us just continue to worship you as we sacrifice and consecrate ourselves for just this temporary moment to reap a harvest of righteousness in you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. 
Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. Well, we love you guys. See you soon. Bye, Bye. you guys.